First off, I want to give all praises and glory to the Most High Yahweh, who this world only calls God, in the name of Yahweh Shai, who this world only calls Jesus, and the Holy Spirit in Paleo Hebrew is called the Law Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Rahach Kodash. Double honors unto the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. Salutations to all the brothers out there that's teaching this word and truth and sincerity and peace, blessings and healings onto the elect and the multitude. Because that's why we do these videos. And um, I was looking for something to talk about today. And um, I'm going to combine a couple of things. But it says, who director says independent media must be wiped out before? And you can read that. Okay. And I got another article right here. Germany government begins freezing bank accounts of conservatives. Okay. And the big question is, who is doing this and why are they doing this? Okay, so I got a um, YouTube short right here that I wanted to play y'all and uh, I'm gonna get into who was doing this and why they're doing this because the people who rule the world are insecure because their rulership is coming to an inevitable end. So let's get started. Who do you think really runs Shaq? Who do you think really runs the world? You're gonna go there, huh, with the question. You become a billionaire and you're still dangerously ambitious. You took over an industry. Now you're worth $5 billion. Now you're worth 10. If you're a billionaire, you're the best at what you do in your space for the most part. And you're like, well, I want more control. I want more power. What if I can take over the world? Aren't there other people like me that are driven by wanting to take over the world? What if we could make the world one place and we make all the decisions for everybody because I'm probably one of the smartest people in the world you really start having that godlike figure like George Soros. You know, in one of the interviews, he says, I always fancied myself with being a god. It's the most disturbing interview to read about this guy. The boogeyman of a, a number of conspiracies. How many, how many people have you heard say, I always fancied myself with being a god, but what's great about where I'm at right now is it's no longer a dream. It's not a it became a reality. Yeah. Who do you so, who has this mindset? Okay, in a biblical sense, you know, because it talks about, you know, um, the people who who would rule the world last would have this mindset. Okay, that's the question. Okay, who <laughs> thinks they're gods in the last days? Okay, Second Thessalonians two, the men of lawlessness. Okay, the wicked. Now it says, "Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day of." shall not come, except there come a falling away first, and that man is sin be revealed, the son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worship, so that he as God sitteth in a temple of God, showing himself that he is God, talking about the man of lawlessness. Now when you go down, for the mystery, so this is a mystery on who these people are. That's why he doesn't call them out by name. He just says, billionaires got together, blah, blah, blah. But it's deeper than that. So this was a mystery of iniquity do if already work. Only who, now, only who now will let it full let until he be taken out of the way. So they're eventually going to be taken out of the way. And then shall the wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. So, they're going to be exposed by people telling the truth. People are going to have the spirit on them and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, talking about the Son of God, Yahweh Shai. Even him who is coming is after the working of Satan. So the wicked work with Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. So they're liars. Okay. Another scripture you can, it says this at is Isaiah 14. Okay, and when you go down, um, it says, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Okay, and this is not talking about Satan. Okay, this is talking about the people who work with Satan. Lucifer equals light bearer. So these billionaires that he was talking about believe that they're gods. So they, they believe that they have the light. And they gather themselves together and they rule the world, right? So, okay, 
the people who believe they have the light, but really they don't. Okay. Son of man, son of morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did its weakest the nation? So these people got together, okay, the Illuminati basically got together and they weakened the nations and are doing this with the threat of violence. You know what I'm saying? For thou hast said in thy heart, I will ascend into the heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the most high. So whose mindset is like this? As we said, as I got in Second Thessalonians, the wicked. Okay, yet shall I be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit. They that shall see thee shall narrowly look upon thee and consider thee saying, is this the man that made the earth to tremble and that did shake kingdoms? So <laughs> who was doing this? Who, who was, you know, the devourer of the nations? Okay, the Zionists and the Americans and the NATO and the EU. It says they made the world as a wilderness because they're destroying it. Okay, oil spills. Okay, forest fires. Okay, you see, you see what happened in Maui. You see what happened over there in uh, South America. They did the same thing. You know what I'm saying? They're making the world a wilderness. And destroy the cities thereof that open not the house of his prisoners. Who, who locks up the most people? The Zionists and the Americans. Okay, so this is talking about their fall in Isaiah 14. It's talking about their eventually going to fall. Second Thessalonians talks about what, who that is, you know, and they work with Satan and they lie. Okay. And that's why they got the media. That's why they control the media. That's why they got puppets out here. That's why they got the masons out here. Okay. This world is, is through, you know. So let's go to Job 9. Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covers the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Because then it's saying Second Thessalonians that he will be revealed. Okay, so the earth was given into the hand of the wicked. So the Lord gave him the world. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. The Renaissance. That's what he painted over all the images and made himself the Israelites. Took the identity of the Israelites. Okay, made them look like everybody in the Bible. Okay, but there they are in the Bible. And it says who they're going to be, who they are. It says what they're going to do in the last days. And they got a blessing from Isaac to rule the world. Okay. This is Proverbs 29 and 2. It says, when the, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. Okay. And that's what you're seeing right now in all aspects of life. Okay, because they want to do these 15 minute cities now. They want to feed you bugs. They want to do this. They want to do that. Okay, and they eventually want to take down the media. And whoever has any other um, um, thought that's not, you know, um, aligned with theirs, they want to um, eliminate you from society. <laughs> okay, so the people are going to mourn, man. Point blank, period. This is Isaiah 24 and 5. It says, The earth also is defiled under in the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, and broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. The inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. New, mind, new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. The mirth of tabaret ceases, the noise of them that rejoice endeth, the joy of the harp ceases. You've seen all these migrants come into the U.S. Okay, and you see in America, the Americans basically mourning men. They shall not drink a wine with the song, strong drink shall be better than them that drink it. The city of confusion is broken down and every house is shut up and that no man may come in. Okay, so all this is being orchestrated by the Lord, man. It just is what it is. You know what I'm saying? This is Sirach 10. A wise judge will instruct his people and the government of the prudent man is well ordered. 
as the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what matter of men the ruler is, the ruler of the city is, such as are they that dwell therein. An unwise king destroyeth his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. This world is being ruled by the wicked, so the people are wicked now. Okay, they're the basis of men who's ruling right now, so the people are acting like the basis of men. This is why feminism is here. This is why child trafficking is so big. This is why the drug trade is so big, okay? This is why they pay off people. They don't want you to be healed. They just want you to be in a state of coming back to them like, like a drug dealer. You know what I'm saying? Everything is on the earth is fucked up because of one people, okay? One tribe of people. And it is what it is. So we're going to get that tribe of people. This is Genesis 27. Now, when you read Genesis 27, it talks about, you know, basically... There was there was a blessing to two people. Okay, you had Esau and you had Jacob. Jacob got the blessing of the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so that's after this world, after this place falls. You know, then the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up on earth, and you're going to have peace forever and ever. But there was given a blessing to Esau as well that he would have the same exact blessing. But he wouldn't get the kingdom. He would just rule last. Okay, so he's ruling last. And then after him, his brother is going to get the kingdom of heaven. Okay, so let's read this. Now, when you go to um, Genesis, um, where I want to start from. Thirty-eight. So, like I said, there's only two people on the planet that got the that got the blessing of the earth in its entirety. Jacob and Esau, that's it. Okay, it says, And Esau said unto his father, Has thou but one blessed my father? Bless me, even me also, O oh, my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. Okay, because he didn't get the kingdom, man. Well, he got the kingdom, but it got stolen from him. This is why they act like they do. This is why they want to, you know, take down the media. This is why they want to, you know, if you don't agree with them, they want to freeze your bank account and, um, you know, um, uh, exile you from society because we're coming to a time where the roles are about to reverse. His blessing is ending and his brother is about to get the kingdom of heaven. Okay. Now, going back over here. It says, And Isaac and his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and the dew of heaven from the above. So they would have everything. And they, and by thy sword thou shalt live. And how does the so-called Zionists and the so-called, you know, you know, Americans, NATO and the EU rule? They rule with the threat of violence. Okay. Okay. And they have used the sword to basically... Um, gain the world, okay, transatlantic slave trade, you know what I'm saying, and their military might, you know, it says, and thou shalt serve thy brother, <laughs> and it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion, thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck, okay, because these people were supposed to be, they were supposed to serve Jacob, but they don't serve Jacob, they put Jacob in slavery, Okay, and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. Okay, he hated it, his own brother, man. And Esau said in his heart, the days of mourning for my father are at hand, and then will I slay my brother Jacob. So this is why you see the so-called white man, the so-called Zionist man. This is why they do what they did to the African Americans, the Native Americans, the Latino Americans. Okay, because those are the Israelites. Okay, this is why they did what they did to those people and still doing what they're doing to those people as of today. It just is what it is. You know, they can't, they don't even know why they're doing it sometimes. They just, it's in their spirit. This is a Psalm 17 and 13. It says, Arise, O Yahweh, of Mashiach, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. So who got the sword? Esau. Okay, what does it call him? 
the wicked. Okay, and just to let y'all know, thus dwelt Esau on Mount Seir. Esau is Edom, the descendants of Esau. So his descendants are ruling the world right now. Okay, they're from Mount Seir. Okay, I got a picture right here of Edomite kingdoms. Now, Mount Seir, okay, you see the buildings they built, okay, in the caves. And then what? Alexander the Great, okay, he, you know, put the whole world in subjection and then he died. He only had a 12-year run and died. You know, he built Greece, you know, and then from Greece, they went to Rome, the Romans. You can go read about them. You know, the Bible, okay, the Israelites were in Rome just like we're enslaved today in America, you know. Yeah, Halashai was running around during that time, you know. That's why he's coming to save us in this time, <laughs> you know. But um, Spain, you know what the Spaniards did? They went to, you know, America, killed all the Israelites, basically, and then brought the African Americans over here which are Israelites as well. They enslaved us together in this land. And then you have France, Germany, Russia, Great Britain, all the way to the United States of America. Okay, so his blessing was this, man. This is the blessing we read about. He would have the fatness of the earth and a dew of heaven from above. You know, he would break the yoke off his neck because after Rome fell, Jacob was ruling. Okay, he ruled Europe. After a, like a thousand year period in the Byzantine Empire, but they broke the yoke, okay, off the neck, and then they put them in slavery, okay. That's why you got, you know, it's a whole thing to this, you know what I'm saying. But we want to get why they want to destroy the media and they want to, you know, uh, freeze people's bank accounts because all this is coming out now, man. These people are the wicked that the Bible speaks of. And Yahweh the son of man, okay, well, God's son, said he would come back, you know what I'm saying, when this place falls. And who is ruling now? These people. Okay. And all these other nations fail. All of them fail, man. And this is going to fall too. Okay, because it was prophesied to fall. So, we got that. This is, um, I don't want to get this one. This is Malachi 1 and 4. Whereas Edom say, we are impoverished, but we will return to build the desolate places. And I just brought that picture up, you know. It says, um, thus saith the Lord of hosts, Yehovah Messiah, they shall build, but I will throw down. They shall call them the border of wickedness and whom the people against the Lord will have indignation forever. So Yehovah Messiah has righteous anger for these people, man, because they did what they did. And they don't like their brother, you know what I'm saying, which is, which is us. But it was meant to happen that way. And when you go to Obadiah, it's talking about Edom. Edom will be humbled. You know, it calls him, it says, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. Okay, America, their national bird is the eagle. Edom's national bird was the eagle. Okay, the Nazis' national bird was the eagle. You know what I'm saying? And Rome's national bird was an eagle, and I can go get the picture. You know, it's better just to show people than to uh, tell them, because, you know, people these days, they don't believe anybody. They need to see, you know. But um, you can go look this up yourself. Though I exalt thyself as the eagle, man. But when you go down in this verse, it says, for the violence against our brother Jacob. And we know what these Zionists and what these people do, man, to our people still today. You know, I seen a video this morning of uh, cops almost killing a man, you know, um, for no reason. It says, shame shall cover thee. So they're going to be put to shame and thou shalt be cut off forever. You know what I'm saying? So they're going to be cut off. If you go to Ezekiel 36, you know. Um, 35, so like, yeah, prophesy against Mount Seir, so it's saying prophesy against these people, and then it's saying Second 2 Thessalonians that it was a mystery on who the wicked are, but now we know who they are, you know what I'm saying, it's these people, okay, now when you go down, son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it, so this is why I'm doing this video, 
and say unto it, Thus say Yahweh Shemesh, I behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. I will lay thy cities waste, and, I, and thou shalt be desolate. And thou shalt know that I am Yahweh Shemesh, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred, and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel by force of the sword. <laughs> Psalm 17 and 13, okay, going back to it, because these people got the sword, okay, deliver me from the wicked, which is thy sword. Who wrote this? Who wrote Psalms? We all know who wrote it. David did. So he was even saying this back in the day, you know what I'm saying? Get me away from these motherfuckers, okay? They don't like us. We stole their blessing. They still hurt over it, and they still hurt over it today. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, you got to get over that shit, man. But they're not going to get over it. Okay? They're going to go. They're, they're basically going to say, if I can't have the kingdom of heaven, you can't have it either. So I'm going to take you down with me. This is their mindset. They want to shut everybody up. Okay? For doing what I'm doing right now. Because we know who you are now. So, it, I mean, not, not just me either. It's millions of us. Especially in America, man. We know who you are now, man. You, you you can't run. You know what I'm saying? And we just we just um the two witnesses, man. The two witnesses that talks about in the scriptures in the last days. You know we we snitching on your ass to the Lord, man. <laughs> but it says um because thou hast had a perpetual hatred. You know then it say in Genesis that you know. Come on, man. Esau hated Jacob. Then it talks about um, these people, man. Because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and hast shed the blood of the children of Israel, which are, you know, Jacob's descendants by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, because we were in the slavery. In the time that their iniquity had an end, therefore as I live, say if you have a Shemeshai, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee, since thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus I will make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off from it him that passeth out and him that returneth. And we all know what Yahweh is coming to do, who you call Jesus Christ. He's coming to make war with this world, man, who, um, who enslaved his people. Now, when you go to Isaiah 63, you know, this is talking about um, the second coming. It says, who is this that cometh from Edom? With dye garments from Basra, because Basra was a city in Edom. Um, this that is glorious and not apparel, traveling in the greatness of its strength, I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Who is coming to save people? Wherefore art thou ready not in apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the wine fat? And, and where else can you read about this? I have trod in the winepress alone, and of thy people there was none with me. For I will tread them in my anger and trample them in my fury. And their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in my heart. What does the Lord say? He said, vengeance is mine. And the year of my redeemed has come. Who is coming to redeem? You know, and where else can you read about this at? You know, um, you can read this in Revelations, basically. Revelations uh, t not, uh, 19. You know, you go down, it says, And I fell at my feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See, thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant. And of thy brethren, they have the testimony of Yahweh Worship God, for the testimony of Yahweh is the spirit of prophecy. It says, And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. And in righteousness he do judge and make war. So he's not coming to play patty cake, patty cake with people. Okay, he's coming to make war with people. And, I, and uh, I got a picture. You know, I saved a picture, you know. <laughs> like my boy. This who y'all going to war with, man. <laughs> y'all yeah, done out here. You know, it says, um, His eyes were like a flame of fire, and on his head were many crowns, and it had a name written that no man knew but himself. And he was clothed with a vesture dripped in blood. And his name is called the Word of God. And he was clothed with the vesture dipped in blood. 
Okay, so this is what Isaiah 63 is talking about. I have tread the wine press alone of the people that was not with me. I will tread them in my anger, tread them in my fury. Because it says in Ezekiel 35, that basically, going back, that blood will pursue thee. We're not going to pursue you. The Lord is. So that just is what it is. I will prepare thee on the blood and blood shall pursue thee. So this is what it's talking about. You know what I'm saying? And the Bible, man, doesn't contradict itself. It's like a web and it all connects. You know what I'm saying? So we know who the Lord is coming to go to war with. Okay. And they're going to go to war. And that's why they got a space force. Okay. Point blank period. There is no other reason to have a space force. That's why they got telescopes up there. They waiting on the Lord, man. They're going to try to fight the Lord when he returns. You know. And uh, there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fight against the dragon, and the dragon fought against his angels. This ain't talking about Satan and his angels. This is talking about these people's military. And prevail not, neither was their place found anymore in heaven, so they're going to be destroyed. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil. And the devil is not talking about Satan. The devil is talking about these people, the wicked. And Satan, okay, who they work with, like it says in Second Thessalonians, was deceived with the whole world. They deceived the whole world. It says that in Second Thessalonians. Okay, you know what I'm saying? They work with Satan with all power, signs, and lying wonders. Okay, because like I said, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. It's talking about it. It has a narrative. Okay, and all this stuff has came true, man. We are in Edomite rulership right now. We're at the end of it. You know what I'm saying? They're about to fall just like the Romans did. You know, um, the Romans fell because of um, immigration, too. They they was bringing in the barbarian tribes and then they fail, <laughs> you know. And now they bring it in immigration, do, doing this over immigration again. Okay, you got Chinese immigrants coming in. You got you, um, Middle Eastern immigrants coming. What do you think they coming to do? The same thing those barbarian tribes were doing in Rome. Go to war with your ass, you know. Look up what happened in Rome. Same thing happening in America, man was deceived with the whole world and he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him talking about they're basically going to lose okay where else can you read about this at in second Ezra 13 okay it goes into it in detail you know you can read this it's talking about um you know the second coming okay it's talking about the second coming then the people are trying to go fight the lord and after this, and lo, I beheld, there was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the winds, four winds of the heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea. So when the Halisha, you know, arrives, they're going to go, they're trying to, they're going to go, they're going to try to go to war with him. You know, but I wanted to get some down here. Um, and one shall undertake to fight against another, one city against another, one place against another, one people against another, and one realm against another. Talking about the yeah, Halisha coming to fight these measly humans okay that think they the shit you know what i'm saying but i digress now so that's who that's that's who's wanting to cut off the media and that who want to freeze your bank account okay i'm gonna get a couple of more scriptures i'm gonna call it a day because we're not going to have the internet forever point blank period Behold, the days come, say, if you have a Shemeshah, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Of hearing the words of Yahweh Shemeshah. So how do we hear the words of Yahweh Shemeshah today? On the internet. Okay. And uh, it just is what it is. Now, this is Matthew 24. Signs of Christ's return. Signs of Hamashiach's return. Now, when you go down, it says... And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And this has been, you know, ramped up because of the internet. That's how people hear the word. This is how people get media today on the internet. They want to shut it down, but it's too late, man. This is why Jay Rockefeller said the, in the internet should have never been invented because... The Lord invented the internet for his believers, you know. So I say that to say this, we at the end, you know, and uh, we better repent for it's too late, man. This is uh, Revelations 13. I just want to get this real quick. 
because the German government begins freezing bank accounts of conservatives. This is why they want to have the MLTB, but when you go down here, it says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak, and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So the people who don't want to go along and get along with these people, because we don't want to get along and get along with you, man. Go along, get along, gang. We ain't with it, man. We wait on you to fall so we can have our uh, kingdom, man. You know, you had your time, and you had your place, and now that's coming to an end, man, so... You should just fall with grace, but they're not going to fall with grace. They're going to come after everybody, okay? They're insecure. Like they're going to, basically, if I can't have the world, you can't have the world, and then they're going to go crazy. You know, that's why it says in Revelation 12 that I'm um, going down. It says, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death, talking about the people who believe today. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he haveth, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. And the woman were given two wings of a great eagle, that she might fly into the wilderness, into her place where she is nursed for a time, and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. Okay, so if you repent, you know, you'll be hidden in these last days. It says, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might chase her to be carried away of the flood. So they're going to come after us, man. Okay, they're going to come after us. It just is what it is. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman, talking about Israelites. He went to make war with the women of the seed, talking about the people who believe, which keep with the commandments of God and have the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach. They're going to come in like a flood. So what is Yahweh Shah going to do this time? See, back in the day, you know, they killed Yahweh Shah, but he rose again. They killed James. They behead, you know. They killed all the believers back in the day. They was crucifying them and doing all this and all that. But th that ain't going to happen this time, man. This is Isaiah 59, 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west and from his glory of the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of Yahweh Shemeshah shall lift up a standard against him. So that's what's going to happen in this time. The Lord is going to... Lift up a standard, a time of the end. And at that time, Michael shall stand up and the, the great prince will stand up for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble. So, Yahweh Shemeshah is going to send angels to protect his uh, be uh, the believers, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time. And at that time, that people shall be delivered, everyone that shall be found written in the book. So, this is talking about deliverance. This is how you know it's talking about the end. And we're going to have angels protecting us in the last days. So, double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS who taught me this truth. And call Halayah Habashim and Shabashim and